Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JQL and Jira search tutorial, we are going to learn about contains and does not contains operators. So contains operator, the sign is a tilde and does not contain is exclamation mark and then tilde. So if you see here, so this operator, the contains operator, what it does is usually for performed on the text fields. Say for example, you want to search some uh, text based on uh, the, the contents of the text in description or, or in the details of the case then you can use the contains operator and it will it's used to search for the issues where the value of the specified field matches the value that you are going to specify similarly if you want to look for the values of the text fields wherein you you do not want to search for the value that you specify in the does not contain right so here uh, it is used for issues where the value of specified field is not a fuzzy match for a specific value okay so let's quickly go back and see this in action and here i have this search field okay and this is advances right now in order to search say for example within the summary i do not remember exactly what contents were there but i remember a little bit that i'm looking for something some of the stories which contain uh, the historical data or something like that right so i can then basically just say uh, the the field which is basically summary right and we know that in summary i i'm looking for all the stories that are related to historical data or something like that right so i can say summary and then this is the operator for the contain so tilde and after that i can specify the text that i'm looking for so basically in the quotes i can say historical okay so what this will do is it will basically search for the summary contents and in whichever stories uh, this historical word will appear it will filter and give me the result of those issues okay so if i click on search you will see six issues have been returned and all of them contain this word historical okay if i say does not contain so basically the opposite of contain so just use the exclamation mark and then tilde and does not contain historical historical so this word will be excluded from all the issues that will be returned so basically it will check that this is not the word within those stories and will return all the remaining stories which don't contain historical word right so all of the other issues have been written so this is basically what the contains and does not contain operator will do now few more things so basically here i am specifying the full sort of word there but if i want to specify this is single word right so if I want to specify multiple word, okay, I can do that as well. I can say historical story and then search and you will see the full text has been searched for, right? So multiple words there. But if I say something like this story and then historical what will happen it will still figure out that yes there was a story and the historical and it will return those issues okay now there are there is a wild card concept as well here so say for example i remember something or some word say for example my story contain uh, or is written for the windows 10 or basically written for some particular version of the application right so if i know that in the description there is a version specified then i can specify or I can just search for say version and then I know that it would be something like one dot something and I'm not exactly sure what the version would be after one uh, so I can search for all the versions that start with version one and anything after that right so I can use the star operator there and that's the wild card that's not not the operator it's a wild card basically so it will match anything which will be after 1.0 okay so after one so here in this case let's say for example i'll use the same so historical say for example i know only these four words there and then after that i don't remember so i'll use the wildcard star and close it with double quotes and then search right so it will still return these six values okay so let me search for something else if i say for example uh, some other issue so it's helpful uh, let me search all the issues and here if i'm looking for say, say for example sspa right so i can say in the summary field look for sspa and then any number after that right so contains or sorry summary 
summary contains the tilde operator uh, which is contains and then i can say sspa right and i am looking for any issue which contains sspa and any number okay so i can put star there both the wildcard and search and you will see all the issues that contain sspa have been returned successfully there are three issues which contain sspa and they have been returned so this is basically this is how you are going to use the contains and not contains now here if i change it to not contains so apart from these three issues everything else will be returned right you will see everything else has been returned the 94 and if i remove this there were total 97 issues right so apart from those three rest all got returned okay so this is a brief about the contains and not contains operator pretty simple used for text field search and very handy when you are searching for something in the summary in the text field and you are not completely sure what you are looking for you know a bit of it you can use the wildcard based on the text that you remember you can search for using contains and not contains so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture